What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time, we're going to be taking a look at From Hell. Based off the Alan Moore graphic novel of the same name, this movie is directed by the Hughes Brothers and starring Johnny Depp. Now, From Hell is a fictional retelling of the Jack the Ripper murder case from the, eight, from the 1800s. So, let's not waste no time. Let's talk about From Hell. Overall, I actually really, really enjoyed this movie. I think it's really, really good. It's got problems here and there, but overall, I think it's really, really solid. So, I'm going to tell you the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. Kicking it off with the positives. Number one and most important, I love the visual of aesthetic of this movie. The Hughes brothers and cinematographer Peter Deming did a fabulous job at recreating that 19, that 1800 Victorian England, London. This movie is visually beautiful to look at. It is so pretty. The set designs are immaculate. They really captured white chapel which is where the majority of the ripper murders took place they really captured white chapel the seedy underground of london this place it, they it looks danky it looks dirty it looks like a place that you don't want to be in and they captured that aesthetic beautifully they also captured everything else beautifully from the costume designs to the set designs this entire movie is immaculate to look at the cinematography is beautiful the Hughes Brothers, I thought, did a really, really good job directing this movie. So, from a production standpoint, I can't praise this movie enough. The aesthetic, the visual aesthetic, is pleasing to the eye. Uh, the acting in this movie is solid for the most part. Uh, Johnny Depp, Ian Holm, and Robbie Coltrane. Those are my three standout actors in this movie. I thought those guys did a really good job. I like the chemistry with Depp and Robbie Coltrane. They played two police detectives. Uh, they bounce off really well off one another. I like Ian Holm as Sir William Gull, who is ultimately revealed to be Jack the Ripper in a, in a pretty much in a murder conspiracy because this, this movie is based off the Alan Moore novel. And uh, Alan Moore, and Alan Moore's take on the Ripper case was that it was connected to the, uh, it was connected to high society London, uh, which had this underground, um, cult called the Freemasons so in Alan Moore's take the Freemasons were the ones responsible for the Jack the Ripper case because the Prince of England messed around with a prostitute and had a child and they created this whole Jack the Ripper conspiracy in order to wipe out the prostitutes who were witnesses to said uh, to the said wedding <clears throat> and that's where William Gold's character came in and I thought Ian Holm in general just did a great job you know I thought he was great uh, I, and of course, this movie had a nice supporting cast as well. You had Jason Fleming, who played Netley, who was the Ripper's coachman. And I like Jason Fleming, so seeing him in this movie is a plus for me. Plus, you have other actors who did a solid job. You have Heather Graham, who played Mary Kelly. And, I'll, and but Heather Graham's performance is going into my negative zone. And when I get to the negatives, you'll know why I don't care for Heather Graham in this movie. But aside from that, I thought everyone else in the cast did a fairly good job. Um, I like the way they utilize the Ripper in this movie. Uh, I like how most of his kills are off screen, and with the exception of maybe a few that are on screen, which are done in a very stereotypical slasher like way. You know, we see a knife constantly slashing somebody in shadow, which, I, which, which is actually a cool visual. And then we get a nice little quick shot where he just takes a listed knife and just slices a woman's throat, and you see that. A gigantic gaping hole rip up in her neck and blood pours out it's really gnarly sick graphic stuff I like it a lot the makeup effects in this movie look really really good and really really well done and I like how for the most part you know we see the aftermath of the Ripper killings we don't really see him commit these acts which I also like as well I mean we, we see in like we see little hints in visions because you know giant Depp's character Frederick Adeline it has these psychic visions, which I think is kind of stupid and kind of hokey to be if you ask me I don't really like it that much kind of makes my mystical powers, which I'm not really a big fan of but the movie tries to answer that for, tries to ground that in a sense of realism as he's getting these visions because he's an opium addict So it's kind of a slap in the face to how the original Frederick Adeline was and this is just a fictional recreation of it um, So from a historical standpoint, it's stupid for the movie standpoint, I get it. That doesn't mean I, I like it because I don't. Even though I do like Johnny Depp's performance as a whole in this movie. But that's pretty much how Adeline gets his visions in a way. To the Ripper case. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, 
Now we get on to my negatives. My big gaping negative with this movie is Heather Graham's performance in this movie is Mary Kelly. I thought she was really out of place. Her Irish accent is really forced for me. Uh, the relationship angle she has with Frederick Adeline kind of, kind of. Whenever every time those two are on screen, they don't really have on-screen chemistry, to my opinion. I mean, you can. I mean, Heather Graham is trying, but you know, she just seems really out of place in this movie. And the romance, there's no chemistry there. There's no. I don't really know why Adeline is attracted to Mary Kelly and vice versa. It just has to be a love story for the sake of having a love story. And it brings the movies down to a screeching halt every time these two are on every time these two are on screen together. The movie is at a strong point when Adeline is doing his investigation of the Ripper case and he and he's doing his detective and police work. That's where the movie's at its strongest point. When it's doing stuff with the romance, it goes down to a screeching halt. <clears throat> so that's my biggest flaw with this movie is Heather Graham and that forced contrived romance which doesn't work. The psychic visions, I also don't like at all. I think it's kind of stupid, and it kind of, it, it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Like, for the movie, again, I iterate. I understand why the movie uses it, but as a viewer looking in, I think it's kind of stupid. I would have liked it better if Adeline was not having these psychic visions, and he was getting his information as he did the case without taking the cheat of him having psychic visions, which I think kind of puts a damper on him as a cop in general. So, yeah, overall, those are just my quick thoughts on From Hell. Overall, I really, really like this movie. This is a really good slasher movie. It's sophisticated for me, to me, that is. It's got really, really pretty visuals, solid cast, really good story, and it's highly entertaining. So, yes, my overall grade from From Hell is going to be a solid 8 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie a lot. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on From Hell in the comment sections down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I would like to know. Like this video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.